All right. So I want to thank Horatio, Kiki Smith, and um, Raymond Silva, Mark Sykes, Sharma Popo. Um, I think it's Cleo, Nicholas, Raymond Silva, and um, Aaron Montgomery, and Lord Roberts, and Lion Bryant, and Lord Jamar, and D.L. Hughley. Now, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have shared with me a past couple of days. I'm watching Lord Jamar explain. See how we've been so frigged up, you guys. The reason why Copper Aborigines was explaining to us that we're Indians was that that was the original status at one point, right? Before 1492, Lord Jamar is explaining some stuff here. Did you guys know, and D.L. Hughley was talking about the same thing. You see those statues, those statues that are all over the place of those um, Albions? <clears throat> Apparently, they were put up after the fact. These were agents that lost the war, lost whatever, they were put up as a mind to frig the people's minds up, right? During the Civil Rights Act, right? Civil War, whatever. Now, all those statues, um, when they were taking them down or somebody was taking them down, they were talking about, I think it was Lord Jamar was explaining that the statues were mass produced, okay? And they came down with such, um, like, there's no sub substance to those statues. They're like cheap, made of some cheap tin or something, I don't know. The bottom line is they were saying that those statutes were supposed to be in museums. If they were in museums, they would explain the history of when, what went down and what took place. Instead, they were put up all over the place to confuse the minds of the masses of the Moors, melanated Indians, right? Um, letting us believe that these agents won the war when in essence they'd all lost. See where I'm going? Anyways, um... I was reading um, a lot of the comment section and Robert Carr had mentioned that the tax, the gift tax was raised to 5 million. You guys go and do the research on that, right? Don't take our words for it. Go and do the research. And then this great um, site was shared with me, Black Indians United um, Five Tribes Embassy. Now you guys remember, you know how I knew that the Seminelli um, tribe group, the new one that's in Florida was a fraud. I was talking about one of the earlier videos that many moons ago I'd written to them, right? Because we were taught that we were Seminelli. We were the five tribes. The Cherokee, Choctaw, Seminelli, whatever, right? Only to find out that those original, there were original names to those um, five tribes. It wasn't Choctaw, Cherokee, Seminelli. It was something else. Very similar, but not quite the same. So the Indians, the so-called Europeans posing as Indians today, who claim to be Seminelli in Andalusia, which is now called Florida, right? When we wrote to them, when I wrote to them, expecting them to say, welcome, blah, blah, whatever, they had nothing to say. <laughs> and it was nothing good. And I thought, okay, this is another sellout organization, right? So eventually the reparations boils down to the fact that we're American Indian Moors National. That's the bottom line. So on this website, the entire political constituency was originally acknowledged by Pedro Mendez, and it goes on to read, which continued on even down through the nephew Francisco Mendez <clears throat> with the Seminelli country, whom in 1738 was conferred a grant of land from the Spanish governor. And anytime I see 1700s, 1500s, 1600s, that's after they changed the date. I think it was back in the 14 or 1300s. The date was changed from, um, it's a four, 500 years out, right? According to the uh, Morris calendar. And according to the Julian calendar, was just a 13 day time difference. So somebody was asking about our birth date recently. And I was explaining that I use the Julian calendar because it keeps us out of the monopoly game, the patents and the copyrights that were made on the name, right? So you guys know that they patented your name with the registration of the birth certificate that was registered to 55 Ward Street, right? Now, some of you are asking me about the um, those of you on parole with warrants and subjected to pass um, jail time. Can you go back and do the bid bond, performance bond, and the payment bond? And the SFGSA 30, 14, 14, 14, 16, 14, 18, and uh, SFGSA 30 forms. Yes, go back and watch our old videos and click on the link. It's a Facebook page. 
you'll hear the guy explain that he had filled out those forms. He was on parole and it was the agent doing business as manager that came and apologized to him and said there's nothing on the record after he had filled out those forms. So he was set free after the fact. So you guys can go back and fill out those forms in that. Now, it goes on to read here that I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can read this whole thing because it's a really long page. In 1819, Spain ceded um, La Florida with the exception of the Seminelli Reservation of the United States for $5 million and the release of American claim of Texas to Texas. The formal transfer did not occur until 1821. Andrew Jackson was named the first military governor of the territory, but only served a few months before leaving his replacement was William Polk Duval. Upon the, re the retreat, the Spaniards tried to attain U.S. citizenship for the Seminelli Creoles with African blood as, a free, as free blacks left behind by inserting language into the Adam, Adam's Adonis Treaty granting them continued freedom and U.S. citizenship. Now, you guys remember, a seer of the Duke of Tears had explained some of the history of what went down. Some of the slaves that you saw on those plantations were in fact Africans, because what happened was they had brought some of the Africans over to America. According to a seer's research, he was explaining that some of the Africans tried to sell out the Americans, okay? and tried to subject them as Moors, Indians, whatever, to slavery by selling them on plantations and whatnot. Hence, they were captured by us American Indians, and they were subjected to the, to the plantations and slavery after the fact. So there is some history about, we were here originally as the original people on the Americas, right? The Albians, we invented them, we created them with the Traglodyte nigger monkey story. You guys can go back and listen to what happened in Patagonia. I did all the videos on that, right? Some of the Albions, what we did was they didn't have any training. So we had to teach them about, you know, hygiene and whatnot. So we set up these mud islands. The mud islands are set up all across Ontario, um, sorry, America, right? And then in the Americas, you know that all those countries around the world were actually in the Americas originally, Iran, Iraq, Jamaica, you name it. They were all in the Americas, right? Anyways, so we had set up these territories for them because what happened was we weren't claiming them. Our um, males, the, the, the men in our tribes, were having relations with the, the animals, Triglodyte nigger monkeys. You'll see the pictures of that in um, Asir the Dukateros has tons of pictures of that. And then they created the, their offspring, right? Then they were getting into trouble and hence the courts were started because we were not claiming them. We were hiding because we wouldn't want to claim them. Anyway, some of the Albions, the Europeans are okay. Some of them are not. And some of them created a lot of havoc in that, which is what Lord Jamar is talking about, that they were more wicked than the Africans or whatever. But we've seen some melanated Moors here that are really wicked as well, too. So um, I can't vouch for that fully because I'm shocked to see some of the behaviors that we saw here. Anyways, I want to thank all the farmers who come rain or shine, regardless of... The water's really high now because of the rains and stuff, but they're out there, boy. And to our gardener union, who's been coming here for the past few days, um, I'm not sure if it's just for the food, but he's a great gardener. Anyways, um, we just want to say a huge thank you to all of you out there and to some of you who are just waking up. We were listening to yesterday, a Jehovah Witness on the radio was explaining about the history of who we are on the Sabbath and that the Sabbath was Saturday, yet we were listening to it on Friday. Anyways, the guy listening to the taxi driver was obviously a Seventh-day Adventist, and he was talking about anything that is um, true should be in the Bible. And I was saying to him, the only misnomer and the lie was that he was talking about Jesus Christ and how he was to die on the cross, but he never talked about him going to France and getting his estate as per the Quran. Those of you who have the Quran, you can order it from rvbaypublications.com and get the history of Jesus Christ and how he went to France, got his estate, he married, I think it was Mary Magdalene, the, the movie, the Da Vinci Code, explains a little bit of that. Um, it's codified though, right? And you'll see where my man's blood is in France going down the sink. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. You can email us here at themullings.gmail.com for all those templates to free yourself. Have a great day.